Eric Hoffman is with us today, representing Namibia at this Olympic Games. So you are uh, over your race, finished 22nd in the um, race, which is like around a week ago. It was pretty, pretty tough course, pretty tough conditions. How did you get used to it? Well, it was yeah, it was really tough. We had like 4,000 altitude meters, and the weather was really bad. It was very humid, very hot. Um, but I already came a couple of times to Asia this year. So I was a bit, yeah, I think I was a bit acclimatized. I had maybe a little advantage because I was here before, because I did a lot of, a lot of racing. So that was really my main preparation. That was why I actually joined the Asian team this year, because I want to have everything uh, for the best for the Olympic Games. Great. So you are, you are racing for Asian team, so it means also you raced quite a lot of races across Asia? Yes, I'm racing for a team from Taiwan. What is the name of the team? Giant Asia Racing Team. And I've started already in February with the Tour of Langkawi in Malaysia. Then I did a did race in Taiwan, Indonesia, in China. So I was really Korea, Japan, where I was second. Um, yeah, so I've been really all over the place in Asia and had a good time. Solid advantage of collecting kilometers and mileage into your legs in high humidity and yeah, for humidity. sure, and also also the time adjustment, getting used to the time, I think. I've seen a couple of guys and they really need a week or so just to just to get their whole biorhythm change. And I think that was a, also an advantage for me. I, I don't know, after two or three days, I was, had no problems anymore and I was really well recovered and everything on the day. Yeah, if you, if you think about all those great uh, uh, cycling nations, Italy, Germany, uh, Switzerland, uh, uh, Spain, bringing, you know, eight, nine people into the race and you finish it with 20 seconds, it's pretty, pretty impressive. Yeah, it was really, I just had a fantastic day and it was just amazing for me also to see every time on the climb some big name getting dropped and I'm, I'm still up there, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with, with my result. Great, and you know, after the race finish, what's, what's, what are you doing the next days? What, you, what have you done so far? Have you visited any other competitions or just hanging around and checking? Yeah, I was, I was, I mean, the first day I was so dead, so I just uh, had a day of recovery and then uh, I was with some Namibian athletes with boxing and shooting, I looked at that venue, um, tonight we'll probably go to the athletics because we've got a, a far jumper there, so okay. I'm, I'm doing uh, quite a bit and then I'm also trying to, to stay fit, doing some training and also with my uh, friend here, Manny Heyman, who's still doing the mountain biking, so I'm joining him up with the training with. You had an incredible uh, uh, bike ride on a highway coming from the Olympic Village to the western part of, of um, Beijing for the mountain bike course. It was like unbelievable. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I think it's, 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 it's more or less probably the safest place to train on because there's no there are many robots and the people, they stick to their lanes. So if you, if you are a cyclist on the highway, there's not, hopefully, <laughs> not so much danger, but uh, yeah, it's the best way to, best, best place to train on. One, one quick question, you know, when we are talking about nutrition and um, uh, hydration, what was your, the volume you put into your body during the race, during the road race, uh, in terms of a fluid? Yeah, I must think it was probably, um, I think, about one and a half bottles per lap, so that's 750 ml. So it's probably like seven and a half, six to seven and a half liters, something like that. Wow. And then I also, yeah, I had a power gel or a power bar for every lap. So it's really important because it's a long race to, to have some reserves at the end of the, the day. Great. Thank you very much. All right. Very interesting insights what we have got from Eric. And yeah, wish you a pleasant time here in Beijing and have a safe trip back home. Okay, thanks. Thank Eric. you.